Well, welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. And for the first on the old Motor Cars Enthusiasts program, we're going to do a themed show. This show is all going to be about the sport of drag racing. Now, if you've been a member of the Facebook page for the past couple of years, you probably noticed that I'm quite the motorsports enthusiast. Formula One, World Rally, and probably one of my most favorite motorsports is the sport of NHRA drag racing. And this show is all going to be about drag racing automobiles that have actually made their debuts in the past several days. And what speaks more in the hearts of a drag racer from anywhere around the world than the Toyota Camry? Oh, wait. Oh, well, bear with me a little bit on this particular deal. At the SEMA Motor Show, which is the Special Equipment Marketing Association, where there's a bunch of aftermarket companies that show off all their wares and all the newest and latest and greatest products for the next year, and a lot of folks that, from the industry, hot rodding industry and the tuner industry and everything, go to this show to see what the latest and greatest from all these aftermarket companies are. And a lot of these companies will put together machines that they'll show off some of their wares. And if you bear with me a little bit, this brand new Camry is a drag racing automobile. And the next shot will show you just exactly what it is. It's basically like a funny car. Now what they've done to this particular machine, they've taken a brand new Camry bodywork and kind of basically welded or glued it all together. Now this bodywork is completely functional. The hood still opens, the doors still open, all the glass is in the machine, but it's draped over this tube frame with an 850 horsepower supercharged V8. Now the creator of this machine is claiming this vehicle will be able to do sub 10 second quarter miles, which is hugely impressive. Especially for how much this vehicle is going to weigh with that steel bodywork over the top of it. They did a fantastic job. This thing looks amazing. Hopefully very soon we'll get to see some video of this car heading down the old quarter mile. And if I find it on the old interwebs, I'll put it up on the Facebook page. Next up on the list, well, we've talked long and hard about the old Charger Hellcat. 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 making 707 brake horsepower. Well, did you know this particular machine has a big brother? Yes, and it made its debut at the SEMA Motor Show. This is it, the 2015 Charger. I guess you can't call it a Hellcat. It's the NHRA Funny Car Edition for the brand new Charger body. Now, they've been running a Charger body since the year of 2006. For the first time, it gets a major refresh. Now, as far as this particular machine, it's got a little bit north of 8 liter Hemi that's supercharged making, if you don't know much about drag racing, you'll be hard to believe this, 10,000 brake horsepower. Now, this particular machine does run on nitromethane, which means it's a tad on the volatile side. This vehicle only runs a 1,000 feet at a time, at least now that they've clipped it back from the 1,320 feet that they used to run when they used to run quarter-mile drag race. They don't do that anymore as far as the nitro cars, just a little bit for the, some of the tracks here in the U.S. are a tad on the short side, built for not cars that don't go 330 miles an hour like this particular machine is going to be able to do next year. Now, the Mopar Group and Fiat Chrysler did a lot of work on this particular machine. One of the things that they've done that I'm hoping is going to really help this car in the 2015 year is going to be that they've moved the windscreen back on this particular machine. It's something that actually stuck out over the top of the injector hat. That's the very top of the engine on the top of the supercharger that gulps in the air. That's what you see right in front of the windshield area. Now that particular deal, once this engine would explode, and if you've never seen a nitro car, they explode quite often. If this thing even would just try to excuse or sneeze the supercharger off the top of the engine, it would split this body and it would disintegrate, especially if the car had made it around 660 feet in the run, which on a very good track, these cars are going between 250, 260, 270 miles an hour. They're going extremely fast, so these, these bodies would just disintegrate. Now, 
The folks over at Mopar did a ton of work on this particular machine. They claim it's lighter in weight, but stronger all the way around, not to make, mention making a lot more downforce, which could mean that this car could be the car to beat for the 2015 year. And this vehicle has officially already been on the track, and they've done a fair amount of testing pulls with this particular machine, and liking what they're seeing, they're working flat out to get four brand new bodies for the big team, which is Don Schumacher Racing, which will debut four brand new Charger Funny Cars at Pomona, California at the Fairplex at the 2015 NHRA Winter National. So cannot wait to see these new machines in action. And last up on the list, General Motors showing off at the SEMA Motor Show, the brand new 2015 Copo Camaro. Now, if you don't know what Copo actually stands for, it's actually a nod from back way back in the old days. Back in the late 60s, there was a uh, group underneath General Motors, which is Copo, the Central Office Production Orders. Now, this was basically who you would go to if you wanted somewhat of more style of commercial vehicle. Like, let's say you wanted a pickup truck with no uh, bed on the back of it, like you were going to put maybe a... Uh, well, a working bed on the back of it with a bunch of cabinets and everything like that, or if you were looking for a, a shop van with no seats in the back of it or anything like this, you would go through the Copo Group to actually get this deal ordered. Well, a lot of the hot rod dealers figured out that some of the highest in horsepower engines, you could slip into some cars that they weren't meant to go into, like the 427 cubic inch 7 liter, normally aspirated V8 that went inside the Chevrolet Corvette, they were slipping those into Camaros and Novas and other cool stuff. It was a neat little situation. But nowadays, it's a lot different. And the Copo Group is actually the full-blown drag racing version of the Chevrolet Camaro. They started this back in 2012, the third edition of this machine. And the power plants is an array of NHRA, IHRA, stock eliminator, legal uh, uh, running gear for this particular machine. The first engine in the list is a 5.7 liter, normally aspirated V8, putting out 350 brake horsepower. Now you can bump up to a 6.5 liter, normally aspirated V8, making 390 brake horsepower. Or the 7 liter, normally aspirated V8, making 430 brake horsepower. Or you can go to the King Dog, which is a 5.7 liter, supercharged V8, putting out 530 brake horsepower. Now you can slip, as far as the transmission is concerned, slip these engines through an ATI Racing TH400 automatic transmission or a G-Force four-speed manual transmission. All these vehicles can go with that manual as well, except for the supercharged version, which comes in automatic only. Now, for the past couple of years, the the Copo Group and the uh, General Motors have only sold 69 units a year. That's all they produce of this particular machine. We're assuming they're going to do that for this 2015 model, even though they haven't announced that yet. They haven't announced official pricing on this machine, but we're assuming that it's going to start like it did in the past two years, somewhere around $100,000 U.S. dollars for this particular machine. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, the link's down in the show notes. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.